Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing Zubuntu 1710 Artful Aardvark. Uh, Zubuntu, for those that don't know, is the uh, official uh, flavor of Ubuntu that includes the XFCE desktop environment. XFCE is a very minimal, lightweight, fast desktop environment. <clears throat> Perfect for those running older computers or uh, computers that are uh, low on system resources. Uh, the release, the official release for Zubuntu 17.10 is October 19th. Today is October 18th. So I am actually reviewing the release candidate, but uh, nothing is going to change between now and tomorrow when the official Zubuntu 17.10 is released. So let me get started on the install. Alright, today I'm going to be installing Zubuntu 17.10 inside a virtual machine. In this case, I'm going to be using VirtualBox. And we wait for it to load. Alright, so it looks like it took a, a few seconds to load. It wasn't too long. Uh, for those interested, the ISO uh, of the release candidate that I'm reviewing here was 1.2 gigs in size so uh, you know not a super small ISO but but not really that big either so anyway this is the standard you know Ubuntu installer uh, I believe they call it the ubiquity installer it's the name of the actual installer program and we have the option of trying Zubuntu which will load us directly into a live XFCE desktop that we can try out or we can just go ahead and install Zubuntu. I'm going to go ahead and install it. Alright, preparing to install Zubuntu. We have two options here, download updates while installing Zubuntu and also installing third-party software and graphics. Uh, for these uh, Ubuntu and its various flavors, I always install the third-party software for graphics, Wi-Fi, uh, multimedia codecs, you really need them to get you know a good desktop experience so I always tick that one on uh, the first one download updates while installing that's optional you can tick it on that's fine it'll t the uh, installer will run a, a few extra minutes because it's going to download some updates for you too or you can run the installer without downloading the updates and then after the installer has completed then you can just update your system you know through uh, the uh, software center or package manager or through the terminal so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this one ticked off. I'll worry about the updates later off camera after I've made this video. All right, it took a couple of minutes for that third-party software to uh, be downloaded and installed. Now we come to installation type. This is basically what to do with the disk. <clears throat> Since this is a virtual machine, I'm gonna give the entire hard drive of this virtual machine to Zubuntu. So I don't need to do any kind of manual partitioning. If I was dual booting, you know, I might have to play around with the partitioning, but in, in my case, I don't need to. I'm just going to leave the first option ticked on, erase disk, and install Zubuntu. All right, and then we get this little warning screen. Basically, it's letting us know exactly what it's going to do with the partition scheme. Uh, we have SDA. It's going to install an extended four file system, which is a fine file system. It's been around for a long time. It's very uh, well supported. All right, now we come to the little slideshow here where we run through time zone, which it, it has correctly chosen the central time zone in the U.S. for me. Keyboard layout, English, US, yes, this is correct. We can type something to test it out. Keyboard is functioning just fine. All right, our username. For this video, I'm just going to choose a Zubuntu as a, as a username. And we ask for a password. Then we have the option of logging in automatically, meaning when we boot the machine, we won't be asked for a password to actually log in. I don't like doing that. I wanted to require a password to log in. 
All right, and now the installer is starting. It's going to run through a little slideshow here while it installs. The install is probably going to run 10 minutes, maybe less. I'm going to pause the recording. Okay, guys, that install was, was really quick. I, I don't even think it took five minutes to run through that. And now we have this little pop-up that says we need to restart the machine. Of course, after installing any operating system, you need to reboot. So I'm going to do that now and I load up our new installed Zubuntu 17.10. Alright, so we've rebooted the machine <clears throat> and we'll see how long Zubuntu takes to, to boot up here. Well, that was really quick. We got to a login manager uh, really fast. You know, Ubuntu and uh, mainline Ubuntu and all its flavors are, are well known for having pretty fast uh, boot up times. But that was that was really fast there. I'm going to log in to the XFCE desktop environment. All right. Now, our screen resolution here is really small. I'm going to see if I can fix this. All right, sorry about that, guys. I took a couple of minutes there to install the VirtualBox guest editions for Zubuntu that, uh, you know, makes uh, the screen resolution problem uh, basically correct itself. That's not something you guys would have to do if you're installing Zubuntu on a, a physical machine. This uh, VirtualBox guest edition thing is it, strictly for VirtualBox. It's something you need to install. Uh, to, it, to get the graphics and everything working just right on, on some of these uh, desktop environments. Alright, so Zubuntu 17.10. What is new in Zubuntu 17.10? Well, really XFCE, the XFCE lightweight desktop environment, really doesn't change much. Uh, it, uh, in years, really, uh, it's basically the same. I mean, there's development on it. But there's you, you never get any kind of major changes with XF, XFC the way you do with uh, desktops like GNOME and KDE. There's never any shocking changes to it, if you know what I mean. So, uh, so let's run through uh, some of the pre-installed programs for Zubuntu 17.10. I'm going to click the menu at the top here. And we have these categories here. I'm going to go to Accessories. Under Accessories, we have our Archive Manager. For, you know zip and unzip our calculator we have the catfish file search which is a, a nice little file file search program for XFCE our character map program our file manager now the file manager for XFCE is Thunar it's a lightweight file manager compared to something like Dolphin and KDE or uh, Nautilus and GNOME but but Thunar is a fully functioning file manager has a lot of cool features uh, really nice file manager I really like Thunar alright back to accessories we have fonts mousepad which is XFCE's text editor so when you know in GNOME you have gedit in KDE you have Kate in XFCE you have mousepad for a text editor and it's nice it, it's a nice lightweight text editor all right, under accessories, we have our note-taking uh, app. We have Onboard, which is an on-screen on keyboard. We have a Global Time, which shows clocks from different countries, a screenshot utility. We have our terminal, terminal emulator. Let's see what terminal we're using. In XFCE, you usually use the XFCE terminal, which this is what we're using. A nice, lightweight terminal emulator. Alright, under Education, we have LibreOffice Math installed. Under Games, we just have a couple of games. We have Mines, a Puzzles Collection, and Sudoku. Under Graphics, we have our Document Viewer, Ristretto Image Viewer, and Simple Scan, which is a, a nice little uh, scanning utility. Internet, we have our Firefox Web Browser, so they're using Firefox for the browser. Pigeon Internet Messenger. That's an interesting choice there to put on a, a ISO these days. How many people instant message anymore? I know recently uh, AOL announced that they were finally uh, closing down their AOL instant messenger service after you know a couple of decades of uh, you know it being kind of popular, but popularity is really 
nose diving on instant messaging. Nobody does it anymore. Oh, nowadays with Skype and other forms of communication. Thunderbird Mail, that's another one that they probably could leave off the ISO to save on space. How many people use a desktop email client? Not that many. Transmission for a BitTorrents is another one you probably could leave off the ISO, but they didn't. If you want to remove them, they're easy to remove. Just sudo app to remove, name of program. Multimedia. We have the Parole Media Player, which I'm not familiar with, so I'm going to open it up. Uh, it gives me a link to the website. Hmm. Anyway, I'm assuming this is just our, our, our lightweight video player. For XFCE, since it's a lightweight, minimal desktop environment, they want to include, you know, lightweight, minimal, you know, software where, where possible. All right, also under multimedia, we have our pulse audio controls, and we have XF Burn, which is a disc burning utility in XFCE. Under Office, we have our LibreOffice programs. We don't have the entire LibreOffice suite, but we do have Math, Writer, and Calc, which Writer and Calc are the word processing and the uh, spreadsheet programs, respectively. Those are the two most important ones that I think most people want installed. But you know, they didn't install the entire LibreOffice suite, but again, it's kind of a minimal desktop XFCE, so if you want to install the rest of the LibreOffice programs, it's a very simple uh, thing to do. All right, under settings, this is our you know uh, settings for desktop, display, network, printing, whatnot. Oh, we have our software updater, we have software and updates. Let's see, uh, let's see what graphical software and updates program. Now, this is the standard uh, software and updates program that you see in Ubuntu. So, for those familiar with mainline Ubuntu, it's the same. We have our window manager tweaks here where we can tweak the window manager. Now, the window manager, the XFCE window manager is a lightweight window manager, but attractive, you know. It's really nice. Under system, we have Gigolo and task manager. Task manager is just a very minimal uh, system monitor basically. So that is the XFCE desktop environment. Let me open up a uh, the graphical uh, software uh, program for adding and removing software in Zubuntu. Alright, welcome to software. Okay, well that's a, a short and to the point name. It's simply software. All right, now this actually looks pretty familiar. This might be the GNOME software. Uh, well, it really doesn't tell me much, but I believe this is probably GNOME's uh, little software uh, app. But this is a nice little graphical way of finding and installing programs that you want to install for those that don't want to use the terminal for doing such. And that is pretty much it for Zubuntu. Uh, I, I just wanted to make a quick install and review of Zubuntu 17.10. Again, it's being released officially tomorrow on October 19th. What do I think of it? Well, it's the, the standard Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Zubuntu, all those Ubuntu flavors. The install, super fast. I mean, from start to finish, less than 10 minutes to install this uh, Zubuntu 17.10. The XFCE desktop is the same XFC desktop that's been around for years. All the standard programs, uh, XFC programs you know and love are installed by default. It just works guys, so uh, if you've got an older computer or a computer that's lower on system resources, or even if you have a faster computer, but you want to get you know just some blazing speed out of it, check out Zubuntu 1710. Peace guys.